This is a Be Kind to Pets veterinary educational video sponsored by Topayo Vets, a veterinary medicine and surgery come alive to vet students and pet owners. Today is the 12th of September, 2019, Thursday. This here is a 28-year-old female red-eared slider which came into the clinic today with the main complaint of it being infested by bloodworms. The owner had noticed that there were these worm-like organisms in the water of the red-eared slider's tank which was placed in the balcony. This was also observed in the water of the tank which she had brought to the clinic. Upon doing research online, she discovered that the organisms found in the tank were midge fly larvae, otherwise known as bloodworms. She had mentioned that she had seen about three such worms in the tank just yesterday. Additionally, the red eared slider was also described to have lost its appetite and was very lethargic. Further examination of the red eared slider also revealed several other problems. For one, the second most pronounced issue was that the tongue of the red eared slider was observed to be white as snow. A normal tongue should be pinkish, similar to that as shown in this picture here. The white tongue could be due to a couple of reasons, namely fungal infection or anemia, which likely would have resulted due to blood loss from the heavy infestation of the bloodworms. To test this, Dr. Singh requested that his assistants use a clean and dry cotton bud to scrape at the tongue. The cotton bud came out dry, which therefore hints that the condition is not fungal in nature, but rather due to anemia. A method which would guarantee more certainty would be to conduct a blood test looking into the red blood cell count of the red ear slider. To treat the main problem of the bloodworms, a simple deworming procedure was conducted which involved the bloodworms getting picked off using a pair of forceps. The bloodworms, as could be seen here, were about 1cm long each and were found in the skin and collar folds of the red eared slider. Notice that they are not your usual worms in that they have hair on their bodies and are thus classified as insects. The young larvae in this picture can be distinguished from the older ones by their coloration. The young fly larvae are reddish in coloration as a result of blood being present within their transparent cylindrical bodies. A likely cause of the infestation could be the diet of the terrapin. As the owner had fed the terrapin purely vegetables for the past 20 years, parasitic larvae present in such food could have infested the terrapin. One other notable issue which surfaced was the presence of fluid retention in the terrapin, also known as edema. Edema is typically indicative of a more serious underlying issue with the heart, liver, or kidney. Another problem involves the shell of the terrapin. As can be seen, there are parts of the shell that are rotting, and the shell is mildly deformed. This suggests that the terrapin is malnourished, likely from the consumption of only vegetative matter for two decades. Red ear sliders require a diet of vegetables as well as some meat to stay healthy, with young being more carnivorous than the adults. It is also worth noting that there is some algae growth on both the shell as well as the skin of the terrapin, which may very well have served as a food source for the midge fly larvae. Let us now look at the treatment undertaken for this particular case. As mentioned earlier, a deworming procedure was conducted to combat the heavy infestation. Antibiotics and painkillers were also administered to combat likely infection. Diuretics were also given to help encourage urination and thus facilitate drainage of the retained fluid in the red eared slider's body. Iron supplements were also given to aid hemoglobin production and thus combat anemia by raising red blood cell count. Shrinch feeding was also conducted as well to replenish the lost nutrients in the terrapin and close monitoring of the terrapin would also have to continue at home. As a final advisory to pet owners, maintaining the hygiene of your pets and their living spaces helps prevent the infestation of parasitic larvae. Should you encounter said symptoms as mentioned above, do not hesitate to contact your local veterinarian to ensure prompt treatment. Do visit topiovets.com if you need more information and once again, thanks for watching.